Your customers want to be kept up to date on their job status and billing details and are looking to find this information online rather than having to phone you. Save your customers and employees time when you provide your customer details online in the Zuper Customer Portal. Let me show you how. In this video, you will see an overview of Zuper's Customer Portal. To start, here is the login page that your customer can use to get into their customer account. The login URL can be shared by your back office or admin using the Zuper web app. Here, the customer can enter their email ID, the same as Zuper's account data, and click on the Send OTP button to receive a one-time password. The customer portal login is highly secured, and we only allow login using OTP for safety purposes. This one-time password, OTP, is an automatically generated six-digit numeric character that authenticates a user for a single entry. Once the email is submitted, the customers will receive the one-time password on their email to log in securely. After logging in, the customer will find an icon available in the top right corner that will enable them to log out of their account anytime and with a click. Now the first screen your customer will see after entering their account is the dashboard with greet, current date, and time. Then they will find job-related stats such as upcoming jobs, ongoing jobs, paused jobs, incomplete jobs, and completed jobs. On the right, there is an option to filter these stats for the day, week, month, last three months, or even for a custom date range to quickly visualize your job data. Below that, there is an overview of the invoices, quotes, assets, and contracts. On the left, you see all ongoing, recent, and upcoming jobs for quick access. Next, there is a brief of all the recent payments made to date. Lastly, there is an option to write a review about the service experience on Google or any other platform by clicking on this button. Let us now move to the next module, which is Jobs. This is the job listing page. Here on the top, there are a few options that will enable the user to find any specific job quickly. For example, jobs can be filtered based on category or scheduled date. In the next row, jobs can be filtered based on status, such as any, upcoming, ongoing, paused, incomplete, completed, canceled, or others. These categories are predefined and associated with the most closet status. Then we have the job listing section where you can quickly preview job ID, job title, job category, job creation date, job status, scheduled date, and to whom it is assigned. You can switch between multiple pages if there are many jobs using these arrow icons. Let us open a job detail page to see all the details. Here your customer can find the job with the current status, team members assigned to this job, scheduled start time, and job description. On the right, they can find more details, such as the quote, contract, or assets associated with this job. Clicking on the members icon will display a small pop-up with an email or call icon, and this can be used in case your customer wants you to communicate with the assigned team members of this job. Clicking on these will take them to the relevant detail page. In addition, they can also track and see the technician on a map if the job status is on my way. Moving on to the quotation module, clicking on this will open the quotes listing page. Your customer can filter a quote based on the received date, or they can search them using the search bar. Next are the status groups to access quotes based on their status, such as all quotes, quotes awaiting response, accepted quotes, declined quotes, quotes with changes requested, and the canceled quotes. Then we have the quote listing section where they can quickly preview the quote ID, associated job, quote creation date, expiration date, quote value, last update date, current status, and deposit amount. Let us open a quote detail page to see the details that your customer can access. On the top of the quote detail page, you can see the current status along with a few important dates. Then at the bottom, you can find a preview of your quote with the total amount. You can download the quote as a PF, print it, or you can share a preview link with others via the link or on. Let us see how your customer can accept a quote. To do so, they need to click on the accept option, and then they will be asked to add some general comment or add a comment for a specific line item, select and deselect the line item, and also add an attachment. Now they can click on the next button to proceed for a confirmation signature. Here, they have multiple options to sign, such as draw, type, or upload their signature. Then finally, they can click on the approve button. This will update the quote status in the customer portal as well as the status will reflect in the Zuper web app and the back office staff will also get a notification of the status update. 
In case your customer does not like the estimate sent by you, they can decline or request a change using these buttons. Let us now move to the invoice module, which is similar to the quote module. Your customer can filter an invoice based on the invoice date, or they can search any particular invoice using the search bar. Then they have the quick status filter to access invoices based on their status, such as all invoices, invoices with the waiting payment status, paid, partially paid, and canceled invoice. Next is the invoice listing section, where they can quickly preview the invoice ID, associated job, invoice creation date, receive date, payment due date, total amount, already paid amount, status, and due amount. Let us open an invoice detail page to see what all details your customer can access there. On the top of the invoice detail page, they can see the current status along with a few important dates. Here they will see the invoice preview. Again, they can download the invoice as a PDF, print it, or they can share a preview link with others and ask them to make a payment on their behalf. On the right, they can see their outstanding amount with the due date, amount to be paid, and a payment button. Next is the payment history section, where they can find the payment date, amount, and payment mode. Next, they can find the associated job and attachment. The customer can make payment via credit or debit card or net banking, depending on the payment integration. Or they may also choose consumer financing, which will be introduced soon. After completing the payment, the status will update in both the Zooper web app and customer portal, and it will also reflect under the payment history. Let us now see the contract module. Your customer can filter contracts based on the expiry date, or they can search them using the search bar. Then there is the quick status-based filter to access contracts based on their status, such as all contracts, contracts awaiting your response, approved and declined contracts. Then there are the contracts listing section where they can quickly preview the contract ID, contract name, contract creation date, activation date, contract term, contract's expiry date, billing period, and the current status. Now let us open a contract detail page to see what all details your customer can access there. On the top of the contract detail page, they can see the current status along with a few important dates. Here they can see the preview of the contract. Again, similar to the quote and invoice module, they can download the contract as a PF, print it, or they can share a preview link with others. On the right, they can find any attached document to the contract. Finally, they have the option to accept or decline the contract with a click. Let us now see the asset module. On the top right again, they have some drop-down option to filter an asset based on category and then filter based on the next service date or find any particular asset using the search feature. In the next row, they can find the asset status and these statuses will help them find assets for the relevant status in a click. Then there is the asset listing section where they can quickly preview asset ID with name and icon, asset category, serial number, installation date, last service date, next service date, warranty validity, and current status. Now let us open an asset detail page to see the details available for your customer. On the top of the asset detail page, they can see the current status along with a few details, then here they can see the location at which the asset is installed, and then they can also find the parts information associated with this asset. Then, on the right, they can see all the actions that happen to this asset. And finally, they can also find attachments associated with this asset. Lastly, your customer can update their name and mobile number from the setting. The Zooper customer portal is just one more reason Zooper is the most comprehensive field service management solution available today for fast-growing services businesses. Ready to learn more? Click on the link in the description below to schedule a personalized demo and see how Zooper is field service your way.